Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. About five days ago, I tweeted out a little sneak peek of the future of Union Cross. So on the JP version, they had a little notice talking about PvP, uh, medals becoming seven stars, and another way to upgrade our Keyblade to do more damage. I have each one cut out in this video and we're going to go over everything, my speculations, what's going to happen, how I feel about it. And I want you guys to let me know as I go through all of this, what do you think is going to happen and how do you feel about it? So... Let's jump into it. First one, guys, is going to be the Keyblade. So, we all know right now, let's go into the Keyblades. So let's look at our own Keyblades that we have currently. I'm going to look at the Fairy Stars because that's what they're showing. So, if I take all this off the Fairy Stars, you can see right here, I have a multiplier of 3.00, 2.9, 2.7, 2.5, and 2.0. But in this one over here, guys, the Fairy Stars that they're showing, they have a multiplier of 13. 3.039 2.139 where the walk is so if you look at my first slot compared to that walker's first slot he's got a little bit higher but if, judging by their multiplier you see how his uh where master zaynord is the 2.739 i believe that their keyblade is maxed out the difference here is that my Keyblade on my free-to-play count, this is my free-to-play, is only level 32. If it was 35, uh, with that Master Xehanort, it would have been a 2.7. So, looking at that and looking at this image, guys, you can see that this uh, subclass... Now, the Google Translate is not the best for this, and that's what I use to translate the, the language there. So, it says here, Subslot. To raise the strength of the Keyblade will appear. Uh, use metals other than regular metals that you use in battle. So, just like we know, right now we currently have the Pet Slot. In the pet slot, we have the chance of making metals that we have useful as a pet rank to increase to get ourselves more skills, which is tricks. We have an extra HP recovery, which is a second chance. We have Esuna over here, which restores, not restores, uh, it takes away paralysis, sleep, and poison. So it's really useful, and it also makes metals we don't use that have good pet points be useful even though we don't have it. And currently, the other thing that we have in the game that makes old metals useful, so we... Let's say you pull 3,000 jewels and you get all garbage. Those metals still can go towards your Nova. Or if you do pull metal that's really strong, has high pet points, but you don't use your Keyblade slots, they go towards the pet slot. So, there's two ways right now that metals that you don't use or metals you do use are very useful. Especially metals that you don't use, that's what I want to emphasize here, is Nova. But, a lot of us, we don't need Nova, especially with the amount of strength we have. Some of us do, but the amount of Nova they give us is not that much. And it takes a lot of Nova to do quite a bit of damage. Nova's going to play a part near the end of this video as well towards the PvP I want to talk about. But... What I'm trying to emphasize here is that when we pull 3,000 jewels, jewels aren't easy to come by. They take a while to add up, and when you pull, and you pull a bunch of metals that you don't need, you feel like you got really cheated out of it. But, this system kind of seems like those metals that we don't use are going to go towards increasing our Keyblade. Now, over here, they only have 4 out of 100. So, I don't know how many they have equipped, I don't know what they're trying to show here, but you see up there in that orange where they have it circled, 4 out of 100. And the Keyblade, the Fairy Stars, is increased by 0.39. So we got an extra 39 multiplier on there. And guys, we know already multiplier in this game is important. The higher the Keyblade multiplier, the higher these metal specials do. So the more damage you're going to get out of that metal. So you want to see a higher Keyblade um, number compared to everything else. So 3.0 there, 2.9. The higher that gets, the better. And that's why we level up our Keyblades to make them stronger. As you guys can see right here, we go to strength and we use gems. Now, my first slot was going to go from a 2.00 all the way to a 2.10. So I get a 0.1 increase for using 246 gems. But according to this picture right here, they use four medals out of that 100. Whatever that means, they use medals. They got four out of 100. It could be like... Oh, have seven upright magic medals that are tier seven or something like that. You get a point for that. So there might be a point system. I'm not sure how it works or you might need a hundred loose medals you put into that. I don't know. But whatever way it is, it does increase our multiplier. And point thirty nine is pretty big when you look at six gems used just to increase our Keyblade by point ten. So right there, guys, that is a big thing. So I'm looking forward to this because if this goes really high, like if the hundred equals since we got uh, 0.39 for four out of a hundred 
a hundred of hundred might be a solid big increase like a whole one two or so on so i don't know how the math's going to be but that's interesting guys i'm really looking forward to that uh it would really help with even older metals doing some decent damage as well but it depends how strong the enemies get from this point and we know already a lot of people they'll carry or shion or scrooge or the santa roxes are struggling if you guys don't have any of those above metals you're struggling to get by the game right now so we're going to see what's going to happen it's going to be just around the corner next thing we got here is our six star medals it says all medals equipped the equip medal so meaning let's go back to the game any medal that you can actually equip to your keyblade is a medal that's going to go to from six stars to seven stars so why does it say that that's just pretty simple is that you the six star medals like uh this plane right here that won't turn to a seven star because we can't equip uh, the Huey, Dewey's, Louis, the Mickey's, the Godmothers, all that. So only medals that are equipable, which is pretty obvious. I just want to say that to you guys and to reduce the questions in the comment section. Um, any attack medal is going to be able to go to seven stars. It doesn't have much information here. It just says the basic performance is greatly improved when it becomes seven star. So what can it mean by basic improvement? Um, as we know right now, if we increase a five star, so let me grab a five star. Let me just level it up with you guys right now and let's throw it into, uh, what do you call it here? Let's throw it into a six star. So I'm going to max this metal out with you. So going from a five star to a six star, this is what happens to these metals. So I'm going to click on this. We're going to evolve it and we're going to go straight to six star. So, uh, before I do click on that. Going to a six stars, five star to a six star Hades right here. We can see the strength increases from 6,331 right away to 6,477. But that's only one out of 100. When we increase it to level 100, that strength goes even more. Same thing with defense and the cost, obviously. But if you look down here, the damage went from 1.99 multiplier to 2.05. So what does that mean? That our six star medals that we have that are really good. Let's look at a tier six since it says all six star medals when we look at medals like i don't know let's pull out something that we all use so uh that's not max dealt i don't have that on my, my my free to play count but i do got a hercules here that's not maxed out either again my free to play count is not the best example for all this i should have logged into my main account uh but here we go tifa and Aerith. so if we were to evolve this tifa and Aerith from a six star to a seven star this multiplier will get bigger uh, according to some five stars to six stars, I think all five stars to six stars multiplier increase the strength and defense. So that's a big difference already, guys. Obviously, guilt's not going to change because guilt is based on the metals tier, but six star to seven star means more multiplier. That means that all the information we have right now is about to go up the window because everything's going to be changed, which is a huge improvement because we you've seen it already. The power creep is here. We need more strength. Uh, what we got is almost barely enough to kill some of these bosses in one turn. We got to take our full turn, our second chance, our HP recovery, and our first turn to take down some of these uh, enemies, especially the Moon Gem quest. You guys saw that we needed like Warrior of Light or an extra attack copycat medal on a Kairi X with Hercules to do that Moon Gem quest. So going from five star to six star and then seeing six star to seven star, I'm guessing that they're going to really increase the performance of these medals, which is great. Um, are they going to change the artwork since there's a question mark here? That's another thing I'm really curious about because it says it's showing that new JP medal uh, that just came out. It's not showing the artwork for the seven star, which means either they just want to keep it a surprise. Oh, it's the same artwork or they're going to change the artwork. So does that mean they're going to change the artwork for everything? Every six star medal in this game, which is every medal in the game can hit six star. That's an attack medal. Are we going to get new artwork for all of them? Or just the new up-to-date ones because we've got key uh, uh we've got medals that were really rare were really expensive you, the key art one uh that mickey that you had to have all these certain medals guilted which cost a lot of money or a lot of jewels and a lot of luck are we gonna get new artwork for them or is it just gonna be some here and there what do you guys think um i'm really excited towards looking at new medals having new animation i would even like to see i don't know if it'd be weird but if you had clicked on the metal so let's go back to the game I kind of want to see if you like clicked on the metal in this one the hades would like move or do like a jester or at least the flames on his head would be moving that would be kind of cool if they added that in the game unnecessary probably take them a lot more uh probably really bad for your your dad and all that and the performance of your phone or your tablet but little things like that would kind of make it really cool if these metals were kind of animated just sitting here i think that would be kind of fascinating to see it's not hard we do in other games other games you click on it, you'll see like 
like a Pokemon game or any other game that has a character you click on, you see the animation of them. So it'd be kind of cool, like a little GIF or something, right? So six stars and seven stars, uh, that's coming. That's really exciting. Uh, are we gonna? Another question is, are we gonna have to use? Here's a couple things actually. Um, will you need another copy of a metal to make it seven stars? More than likely, no, because if you look at evolving a metal right now. All you need is a new material, so Mickey's plus the Godmothers. You, that's all you need for this. So one, fan, uh, three Fantasia Mickey A's and Merryweather. So two Merryweathers plus the three Mickey's lets you evolve your metal. So are we gonna get a new evolved metal, or are we gonna have to use the same copy of a metal? Are we gonna have to use Magic Brooms? Maybe Magic Brooms, since we got, since we're seeing Magic Brooms everywhere now, and it's becoming more of a common thing. Are we going to have to use magic brooms or Mickey and brooms to evolve these metals? Uh, here's the magic brooms I was talking about. You guys know what magic brooms are. Will there be a condition where it says one magic broom plus three Mickeys equals a uh, seven star metal? Are they going to make it really hard to make seven star metals? I don't know. Maybe they'll make it really simple. Maybe they'll just make a new six star metal that lets you evolve your six stars to seven stars. So a new kind of Mickey. Uh, maybe. I don't know, guys. We're going to see. But it's all stuff I want to talk about down in the comment section. I'm really excited to see what you guys are guessing. Uh, for me personally, I just think they're going to make a new Evolve Metal. But they could pull anything on us. And for the last thing, guys, is PvP. So, this is the thing I'm mostly excited for. Uh, one, I hope it's not, like everyone keeps saying, whales are going to dominate. Uh, we're going to analyze this picture just a little bit. Uh, Right on top, you guys can see right there. Uh, it says player versus player. New content of the battle under development, which we know is going to be sometime soon. Uh, they've been talking about it for a while. I've mentioned this a couple of times. But looking at the picture itself, guys, uh, I guess I can zoom this in a little bit more for you. Looking at the picture itself, you guys can see that right here on the top left and right, you guys can see that 1,200 something score compared to the other score. They're going by score base. So we had this before. We've had this in high score challenges. We have this in da damage contest. This is something that's not new, but it looks like they're going with that system for the high score challenge. So the person that deals the most damage to the other person gets the winning score. Now I'm not sure if it's going to be increase of score or decrease of score. So what I mean is that we both start at zero and the more damage we do, the higher score we get. Or is it that we both start with like 20 million HP or something like that and we deplete each other's score? I think it's going to be from zero to the higher, whoever gets the better score. So kind of like the damage contest we got before, like our high score challenges currently, the more damage we do to the enemy, the more score we get. Is that going to be the same thing for this? Because I don't see where PvP is going to be, hey, let's kill each other, so let's deplete each other's HP. I think it's going to be based more on a score thing that's going to be like that, which is obvious of the screen, so it's not that I'm guessing here. I'm, 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 I'm looking right at it, all right? <laughs> you guys can see what I see. So taking a closer look at the picture, guys, um, besides the score system, look underneath the score system. You guys are going to see four crowns, two on each side. It's going to be the best out of three, so if you... I don't know how this is going to work with the score and the whole best out of three. Because if you look at it, one of them has a has a light up crown of gold. There's a gold crown and a, and a crown that's not filled in. So, is it best out of three? How do you judge best out of three since there's a score above? Do you knock out the opponent like I was talking about? Is there HP? And that goes by score, how fast you can knock out your opponent's HP. Or... Is it just out of three rounds who has a better score? How does that really change it? How do you get best out of three when you got score above their head? Or is that score just the person's ranking? Um, is that a thing too? I'm not 100% sure. I can't really take a good guess here. But looking at it, if it's best out of three, meaning there has to be multiple rounds with that person, meaning is there some kind of like way you can outsmart your opponent? Because if it's turn-based, and you have a certain amount of SP. We have SP regage medals. We have medals that do insane amount of damage. So it's going to be very, very hard to balance this. But the thing that makes me very curious is that it's best out of three. At least I think that's what that crown means. It could be best out of three or the crown can mean something else. Who knows? Maybe you did some kind of requirement. But it looks like it's best out of three. I'm just wondering how it interacts with the score itself. Another thing to take a note there is that that player has 1,024 Nova. And that's where it kind of worries me. Are whales going to dom dominate or lucky people going to dominate PvP? Because my free-to-play count, I just showed you guys, I've only got 251 Nova. 
So someone that has 1024 compared to 251, there's a big difference in power right there alone. So that would really, if Nova factors winning in PvP, it's going to be a big difference right there by whale status. Because the more medals you have, the more you pull, the more you guilted, the more Nova power you have. And over a thousand Nova dishes out a lot of damage. Where 251 dishes out decent damage, but not compared to quadruple the amount that you have. <laughs> so, uh, I'm finding that really hard to see how they're going to bounce it properly. Are they going to be like, well, if this person has 1,024 Nova, the other person will have 1,024 Nova. Will they base it on the person with the highest or are we using our own Nova? Uh, is it going to be, hey, whoever does the most damage wins. If that's going to be the case, it might be kind of boring because the person who equips all Warrior of Lights and copycat medals will win the battle compared to someone using a fairy star setup with like Days Riku and Final Form Sora copying with AC Shion, that kind of thing. Or they're going to make a whole new system for PvP itself. Are these medals going to have a different description in PvP? Is there going to be PvP specific medals? I don't know guys, there's a lot of things we can talk about, but just looking at this leaves so many questions. But either way, I'm excited. I hope they do bounce it properly. Um, it looks really nice that there's more things coming. M old medals have a chance of becoming valuable to increase every Keyblade setup. Uh, there's a six stars turned to seven stars, which makes other medals are, let's say, tier five medals that go from six star to seven star. Are they going to get a bigger increase in multiplier compared to a seven tier seven turning into a seven star? Who knows? Because maybe they're going to rebounce it. Older medals going to have value again. I don't know, guys, but there's all going to go forward. Um, we're just going to get more and more stuff from here. Let me know how you feel about the game currently. And does any of this information make you feel more excited about the game? Or does it push you away? I want to talk about this down in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling. And I'll see you in the next one.